now takes uh, take some of the problems based on uh, ic engine which is already asked in uh, get examination so now we will discuss get problems based on ic engine ic engine so now let's take first problem which is asked in year 2010 so get ME 2010 so first of all I am writing the problem here a turbocharged a turbo charge 4 stroke 4 stroke direct injection direct injection diesel engine diesel engine has a displacement volume has a displacement volume of 0 0.0259 meter cube the engine has an output of the engine has an output of output of 950 kilowatt 950 kilowatt at 2200 rpm find the mean effective pressure find the mean effective pressure Find the mean effective pressure in mega pascal. So now let's solve the problem. So as we already discussed in the theory, whenever the power is given uh, in the problem, it will be the brake power. So uh, we have a formula for indicated power. Similar uh, formula we can also use for brake power. So, brake power will be PM LA small n into capital small k divided by 60. So, now here the brake power is given that is 9, 950 kilowatt and displacement volume is nothing but product of stroke into area of cross section is given 0 0.0259 meter cube n equals to n by 2 that is 2200 divided by 2 so 11 uh, 1100 that is 2200 by 2 that is 1100 rpm that is for 4 stroke engine Four stroke engine and k it is number of cylinder equals to one and now we have to find out pressure in mega pascal so bp that is given in kilowatt we can also put in watt 950 into 10 to the power 3 watt so let's put all this value in the formula for bp so 950 into 10 to the power 3 equals to pm in place of la i can write 0 0.0259 into in place of a small n 1100 in place of k 1 divided by 60 so pm will be 950 into 10 to the power 3 into 60 divided by 0 0.0259 into 1100 so 950 950 into 10 to the power 3 into 60 that is 5700000 divided by 0 0.0259 into 1100 divided by 0 0.0259 divided by 1100 so pm will come 
2000702 pascal so in terms of mega pascal we have to divide it by 10 to the power 6 so pm will come to mega pascal so the mean effective pressure in mega pascal will be 2 so the correct answer is 2 mega pascal now let's take an another problem which is asked in year 2009 so get me 2009 so first i will write the problem in an air standard in an air standard auto cycle auto cycle the compression ratio is 10 the compression ratio is 10 the condition at the beginning of the condition at the beginning of at the beginning of the compression process beginning of the compression process is 100 kilo pascal 100 kilo pascal and 27 degree centigrade heat added at constant volume heat added at constant volume is 1500 kJ per kg while 700 kJ per kg of heat is rejected of heat is rejected during the other during the other constant volume process during the other constant volume process in the cycle specific gas constant specific gas constant gas constant for air equals to point 287 kJ per kg kelvin find mean effective mean effective pressure in kilopascal of the cycle so now in this problem heat added at constant volume and heat rejection at constant volume is given compression ratio is given and we are interested in mean effective pressure now let's solve the problem so now i am solving the problem for this problem first of all i will draw all the processes on pv diagram so this one is typical pv diagram for auto cycle 1 to 2 we are having isentropic compression 2 to 3 constant volume heat addition 3 to 4 isentropic expansion and 4 to 1 we are having constant volume heat rejection so these are the processes so now in the problem Uh, it is given uh, the conditions at the beginning of compression process means at one so p1 they have given 100 kilo pascal and t1 they have given 270 uh, 27 degree centigrade this one is 273 plus 27 300 kelvin so these are the conditions at the beginning of the compression and the compression ratio is given so rk equals to 10 so rk is nothing but v1 by v2 
or we can say that v4 by v3 equals to 10 and the specific gas constant is given that is 0.287 so now we will see how we can calculate the work done so here if you see it's a constant volume heat addition q1 constant volume heat reduction q2 so q1 we are having 1500 and q2 we are having 700 that is in kilojoule per kg kilojoule per kg so now with the help of q1 and q2 we can easily find w so w equals to q1 minus q2 so 1500 minus 700 so it will be 800 kilo joule per kg that is mentioned in the problem kilo joule per kg so now we are interested in volume so that is v1 and v2 if we are having this volume then easily we can calculate the mean effective pressure so how now we can apply the perfect gas equation for finding p uh, for v1 so perfect gas equation perfect gas equation that is p1 v1 equals to m r t1 so in the problem p1 is given that is 100 kilopascal so 100 into 10 to the power 3 kilopascal p1 we have to find out we are calculating all these calculations for per unit mass basis so 1 r it is mentioned 0.287 and t1 is 300 kelvin so v1 we will get 0.861 so now we are having V1. So V2 will be V1 by 10. So it will be 0 0.0861. So now we are having this thing that is 0 0.861 that is in meter cube per kg. This one is also meter cube per kg because we are considering unit mass of the working substance. Now for work done, for work done, I can write pressure, that is, I can write pressure into swept volume, swept volume. I will again write the work done is mean effective pressure, that is PM, into swift volume swift volume is nothing but v1 minus v2 so work done we have already calculated that is 800 kilojoule per kg and pm v1 we are having 0.861 and v2 we are having 0 0.0861 so pm will come 1032 kilo Pascal. So the mean effective pressure for this problem will be 1032 kilo Pascal. Now let's take an another important problem which is asked in year 2008. Get a mean 2008. Which one of the following? Which one? of the following is not a necessary assumption is not a necessary assumption assumption for the air standard for the air standard auto cycle option a all processes are all processes are both internally as well as both internally 
as well as as well as externally keyword keyword extra and keyword keyword B option intake and exhaust process intake and exhaust exhaust process are constant volume heat rejection process are constant volume heat rejection heat rejection process option c the combustion process the combustion the combustion process is a constant volume is a constant volume heat addition process heat addition process and d option the working fluid is an ideal gas the working fluid is an ideal gas with constant specific heat with constant specific heat so this one is a step forward question and we have already discussed the assumptions regarding air standard auto cycle so now let's take uh, option one by one so option a that is all processes are both internally as well as externally reversible so this one is the correct assumption uh, regarding air standard auto cycle if we take option c the combustion process is a constant volume heat addition process it's again a correct assumption d the working fluid is an ideal gas with constant specific heat it's again an assumption of air standard auto cycle but if we take b then intake and exhaust process are constant volume heat rejection process this is not true regarding the air standard auto cycle assumption so the correct answer for this question is b intake and exhaust process are constant volume heat rejection process now let's take another problem which is asked in year 2007 get me 2007 first of all i am writing the problem here the stroke and bore of a the stroke and bore of a bore of a four stroke four stroke spark ignition engine spark ignition engine are 250 mm are 250 mm and 200 mm respectively respectively the clearance volume the clearance volume is 0.001 meter cube the specific heat ratio if the specific heat ratio heat ratio gamma equals to 1.4 find the air standard find the air standard efficiency of if we efficiency of engine find the air standard efficiency of engine now let's solve this problem so i am giving a solution here the solution the stroke is given that is l 250 mm that is 0.250 meter stroke is given and bore that is dia is given 200 mm equals to 0.2 meter and now we can find out swift volume 
so surf to volume equals to vs equals to pi by 4 d square l so vs equals to pi by 4 d 0.2 square into 0 0.250 so vs that is pi into 0.2 into 0.2 into 0 0.250 divided by 4 so it is coming 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube so vs is 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube now we are having clearance volume so clearance volume it is denoted by vc 0 0.01 meter cube so now we can easily find out compression ratio so compression ratio equals to rk equals to 1 plus vs by vc so rk equals to 1 plus vs 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 0 0.001 meter cube here the vc is 0 0.001 meter cube so if we divide 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 3 with 0 0.001 it will come 7.85 so rk equals to 1 plus 7.85 it will come 8.85 so we are having the compression ratio so now we can easily find out efficiency so the efficiency is 1 minus 1 upon rk to the power gamma minus 1 efficiency equals to 1 minus 1 in place of rk i can put 8.85 and gamma we know that is 1.4 minus 1 so 8.85 to the power 1.4 minus 1 that is 0.4 and if we take the reciprocal of 8 it will come 0 0.418, 0 0.418 and if we subtract 0 0.418 with 1 we will get 0 0.5819, we get 0 0.58196 so we can say that it will be around 58.2 percentage. So the efficiency will come 58.2 percent. Now let's take another problem which is asked in year 2004. So I am writing problem for 2004. Get Amy 2004. I am writing the problem here. At the time of starting, at the time of starting, starting idling and low speed operation and low speed operation the carburetor the carburetor supplies a mixture supplies a mixture which can be which can be termed as which can be termed as option A lean option B slightly slightly leaner than leaner than stechometric stecho metric option C stechometric and option D reach so we have uh, already discussed in the theory during the starting and idling and uh, low speed operation and the power operation we required the reach mixture so the answer of this question is very straightforward 
for static idling and low speed operation we require rich mixture so the correct option is d that is rich now let's take another problem which is asked in year 2004 so i am just writing the problem here that is asked in year 2004 during a MOS test, during a MOS test on a four cylinder, on a four cylinder, on a four cylinder engine, the following measurement, the following measurement measurement of brake power of brake power were taken at were taken at constant speed were taken at constant speed so this observations I am writing here all cylinders Firing so it will get 3037 kilowatt. Number one cylinder not firing, number one cylinder not firing, then we will get 2102 kilowatt. Similarly, number two, number two. Cylinder not firing, not firing, we will get 2102 kilowatt. Number 3, number 3, cylinder not firing, cylinder not firing, we will get 2100 kilowatt. Number 4, number 4. Cylinder not firing, not firing. We'll get two not nine eight kilowatt. So find mechanical efficiency of engine. Find mechanical efficiency of engine. So now let's solve this problem. In that problem, when the all cylinders are firing, BP is given that is 3037. So I will write BP of engine that is 3037. And for finding out mechanical efficiency, we want indicated power. So individually, we will find indicated power for each and every cylinder, and then we will sum up and we will get total IP. So the IP of first cylinder equals to 3037 minus 2102 it will come 935 kilowatt similarly IP of second cylinder that is again 3037 minus 2102 it will come 935 kilowatt. Then IP of third cylinder IP of third cylinder equals to 3037 minus 2100 so it will come 937 kilowatt. And then IP of fourth cylinder it will G3037 minus 2099 so it will come 939 kilo so these are the indicated power for individual cylinder so the total IP total IP of the engine total IP of the engine will be 935 plus 935 plus 937 plus 939 
so it will come around 3746 3746 kilowatt so the ip is coming 3746 kilowatt so now we can calculate mechanical efficiency it's nothing but bp by ip so the bp is 3037 and ip is 3746 so now we are getting 81.07 percentage so the mechanical efficiency will be 81.07 percentage